Stanford University's School of Medicine just released the results of a study of 1.5 million pregnant women, including 2,572 lesbian couples, and found that these, I kid you not, mother pairs had more medical problems than mixed gender couples. That is, couples made up of a man and a woman. Okay, so let's just slow down on this for a second. Firstly, mother pairs? There is no such thing as a mother pair. When we're talking about the creation of a child, that always and must include a man and a woman in the process. That That's all there is to it. So for a previously well-known and respectable school like Stanford University, to use the term mother pairs, it could kind of draw us to reconsider whether or not we should trust the science at all in the modern age. And then you've got this, this phrase, mixed gender couples, to refer to, I don't know, every, you know, every couple capable of creating children in a natural, healthy way. So when you have a pregnant mother, again, there was a father somewhere in this process. Unfortunately, in the case of these um, lesbian couples, then the father is far divorced from the entire affair, which he shouldn't be, I'll get to that in a second. And when you're talking, I mean, the results of the study showed that you have these lesbian couples who have far more health problems that are related to the pregnancy than healthy couples, and that's not really that surprising for a lot of reasons, but firstly because there is no man actively involved in the creation of the child, and so they had to do something that involves a man in a more indirect way, such as with IVF, right? Because, again, you still need a man, there are no mother pairs. That's not a thing, all right? So IVF, and this is something I want to bring up because when I talked recently about Dave Rubin and his de decision to create children with his faux husband, some people missed the point when I criticized IVF. I criticize IVF also in the case of straight couples. IVF generally involves fertilizing a number of different eggs and implanting a number of embryos in the uterus at once, and then reducing the number of viable fetuses through abortion surgeries before the full number come to term. So yes, uh, that is something that we should all oppose. And in many other cases, what they do is they freeze the embryos and they store them, which seems to sort of, well not sort of, it seems to violate human dignity. I mean, if you could put that action into words, what would you call it? What would you say? Well, we're going to store you in a freezer for now because we don't want you yet, but we might later. And by the way, the freezing of the excess embryos is not always done. That's only if the couple pay extra for that service. Otherwise, they just dispose of or kill uh, those people. See, if life does begin at conception as we know that it does, then we're talking about murdering lots of different people in the process of this whole ordeal. And, but getting back to the the mother pairs, the, the lesbian couple, it's increasingly common, of course, for lesbians to play around with hormones because in these different uh, couples, one starts to play the masculine role, which is rather comical, but in any case, we've all seen that happen, and so nowadays, because hormone therapies are so uh, common, you start to see lesbian couples playing with that so that one can play a more masculine role. We also don't know in these cases if both really were women, because again, you have Stanford University using phrases like mother pairs, so would it really surprise you if they referred to a man as a woman if he wanted to be? So, for example, we could have a man and a woman who conceived of a child in a normal way, except for one of them is pretending to be a woman when he obviously wasn't. That could certainly be the case. What we don't know, though, is the long-term effect that this would have on a child. We have no idea. In fact, this particular study that I'm talking about was heralded as a first-of-its-kind study, um, you know, on the, on the mother pairs. But that... that it kind of opens a whole new conversation. Well, if we're only just now studying this, what about the effects on the children and why aren't we studying that? And don't get me wrong, this isn't me asking for studies on the outcomes um, that, that happen to these, to these kids. It's not. I'm just asking for us to stop experimenting on kids in ways that we have no idea what the outcome will be. I think that it's, it's sick and twisted. 
And I certainly think that we should stop using phrases that deny objective reality, which is what happened in this case, and will happen again as we refuse to even acknowledge that definitive sexes actually exist at this point.